Hey guys, Ken here. A uh, little hummingbird tip for you today. If you have never uh, set a track, I want to show you how to do that today. I want to give you a little tip on the way I've been using it. So in order to set up a track, basically what you'll want to do, wherever you're running, first you'll want to go menu, menu, and you're going to want to go down here, and you're going to want to clear the track because if you hit save track, it's going to save everything that's been on there recently. So what you'll see here today is I came into this area and that's my track. And actually, let's make this a little bit easier to see. Uh, no. So let's get rid of our contour lines. This will make this easier to see. So drop our contour lines. Okay, now then. Now, by the way, this is, um, this is the Lake Master card, which is why you see the coloring there. But what I did today was I came into this area, and right now on Rayburn, the water, uh, the grass has grown to the top. So this is a creek that I wanted to fish, uh, and actually I ran it first, but I wanted to fish this creek uh, because I can see it. It's actually out off the bank. It's normally really hard to see, but with the grass line right now, it's real easy to see. So what I wanted to do then was give myself a reference of how the creek ran, and you can see I did it here for a ways of how the creek runs so that when I come back in the spring, when the water's high, any time that I can't see that grass line, I still know exactly where that creek runs. Now, the Lake Master card shows most major creeks. This is a little tiny feeder creek. So what I did was I laid down a track as I fished so that I could come back later and uh, still have this track and know exactly how this creek runs. Here's how you do that. So you go menu, menu. So as I mentioned, when I first got in there, I went in and I cleared my track here, and then I started fishing. And then once I get done, I just simply hit save track, and that red line is that track. Now, one of the things you need to know down here when you do save tracks is, you need to go in here and you need to change from a dotted line to a solid line, and I think there's a couple of different color options available to you down there, so that when you save it, you see I save mine in like a, a red, almost a maroon colored, so that I can see them. A couple of other tips on this, by the way. When I'm doing it fishing, you really want to be cautious here not to burn up a whole bunch of your memory. So you'll see I have mine set uh, track minimum distance 16 seconds. Now, I did it, uh, actually this last part of it out here is I idled out. I went ahead and marked it as well. I have my track interval set on five seconds. If you're, if you're fishing, I would move it all the way out to 60 seconds. That tells the system how often to note where you are to set that track so that when you get done, you have a really nice track. So set the distance and also set the frequency and you'll get a nice track so that next time you go into an area, you've got exactly how that creek swings and those bends in there.